Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to QNAP Live Broadcast from our headquarters here in New Taipei. I'm Rezon and here today with us is our product manager, Xavier. Hey, so today we have Xavier to introduce us to a really interesting feature that we have and uh, actually it's, we won't be taking a lot of time but we'll be talking about surveillance and uh, our uh, tools that we have. Uh, to be more specific, we are going to talk about QBR Center, uh, which is at the center point of your surveillance uh, system that you're going to create your surveillance uh, network that you're going to have uh, from a central point management uh, with the QBR Center from the QNAP NAS, uh, especially with the QTS441 now that we have the recent one. And we're going to cover these three main topics and uh, we have first the distributed storage and central manipulation with the QBR center as you can see on the uh, left end there we have QBR center in the middle of it and then we'll be talking about the multi-screen TV wall support which comes with it and downward compatibility that we have with QBR Pro 513 and surveillance stations for all of those that remember that and how it actually is compatible with one another with QBR Pro and Surveillance Station. So maybe Xavier, uh, you can tell us in more detail about this part. Okay, uh, for the first one, in general surveillance applications, servers and uh, cameras are distributed in different locations. Mm -hmm. While our QBR Center, you can manage all your servers and the cameras. Uh, for the multi-screen TV wall support, QBR Center is able to connect eight external displays. We can project the cameras and, uh, and the e-mappers on the TV walls. Mm -hmm. For the last part, downward compatibility. QBR Center can perfectly compatible with the old QBR Pro 5.1.3 and the surveillance station. When you purchase new QBR Pro, you don't need to worry about the compatibility issue. I will show you the details in the following slides. Okay. Okay. Well, first, I will introduce the QBR Center structure. Uh, one QBR Center server can connect several QBR Pro servers. The most we can support is 128, mm -hmm. while the other PC utility we call QBR Center client. We can link it to the QBR Center server. Uh, we can watch the live video or manage the servers and the cameras on the QBR Center. Mm -hmm. The first point, uh, distributed storage and the central manipulation. Uh, for the surveillance servers in different locations, we can manage all of them by a single interface. It can help us to reduce the cost and the difficulty in management. User only needs to log in one time, then he can manage all the devices. On the other hand, we can rename the server in QBR Center. For example, we can name server 1 as the main gate, server 2 as the laboratory or parking lot. It's intuitive and easy for the operator to understand the server coverage. Uh, we can see the two photos on the right side. They are the server management page on QBR Center and the QBR Center client. We can find all the server link status. QBR Center can support up to 128 QBR Pro. Mm -hmm. It can meet most applications. While the event dashboard, the manager can understand when the time is picked and where the place is hard spot. It could be the reference for the future security enhancement or system upgrade in the future. Okay. Besides the management functions, QBR Center can receive all the event notifications from all QBR Pro. We can watch the live video or play back to restore all the process. The right column is the event notification zoom. When the event is triggered, we can know the event is from which server. Through the Borough Live or Playback functions, we can instantly watch the live video or replay the event. Okay. QBR, Pro, QBR Pro Center solution 
uh, is on the left side. We only need one desktop with multi output graphic card. Uh, then we can support uh, most, the, the most external display we can support is 8, and it needs no KVM. It's able to allocate uh, the sub screen content on the main screen. On the right is the other NAS external display solutions. One host only can support two external screens. To meet eight external screens, four computers are needed, and the keyboard mouse signal must be switched through the KVM. And the user have to directly on-site control the content allocation. The picture on the right is the main control screen of our TV world. We can arrange the content we want to project on different external screens based on our needs. For example, we can decide on the first screen to have a full screen layout of the gate. On the second screen, we can press an e-map of the force. Through the main control screen, we can adjust the layout of the slave screen content. Okay, so well, how does this? Uh, what are the benefits of this one? Okay. Uh, what are the benefits of the multi-screen of the TV world? First of all, we can we can use the TV world screen to classify the field the field size. For example, the number one screen can be the e-map and the number two screen is the gaze of a building. Uh, one screen is one purpose. It's, it is an intuitive classification. Uh, operators without complicated training and can quickly get with the overall situation and reduce the possibility of the misjudgment. Through the multi-screen TV wars, uh, when an event occurs, you can get uh, the instant view and the location then quickly response. Multi-screen can help to simplify the screen switch process. Operators can respond to the event quickly and easy. Oh, finally, QVR Pro Center is backward compatible with the QVR Pro 5.1.3 and the surveillance stations. In general, the uh, setting of our surveillance system are difficult to get in one step. They are often limited by yearly budget. A uh, compatibility issue is a difficult problem. QVR Center has no such issue. We are fully compatible with the previous uh, QVR Pro 5.1.3 5, 5 and the surveillance system uh, and the surveillance station. It can save your previous investment and retain the upgrade flexibility in the future. Mm -hmm. uh, you can see uh, there are four, di uh, four different videos on our control panel. The, the top two is the QVR Pro, and uh, we also compatible uh, VO store and the surveillance station. Mm. On the table is the compatible function list. All the relevant uh, important functions such as uh, layout review, e-map, live video, playback, event notification, camera and uh, server health status. User don't users don't, uh, don't worry about the compatibility issue and retain the possibility retain the possibility for the future upgrades. Oh this is a uh, bank bridge bank application case. The scenario is the customer has several branches and already purchased hundreds of cameras and uh, view store ser server. Due to business expanding, needs to buy more QVR Pro. If customer use QVR Center, they will get pro benefits. QVR Center can manage the old servers, the view store and VR. Mm -hmm. Where QVR Center client uh, can what? watch the camera view of the QVR Pro and the VO store and VR. QVR, QVR Center can show the health status of the QVR Pro and the VO store and VR. 
Okay, so I believe this would apply not only for a bank but also for different companies mm -hmm. that have a lot of branches. Yeah. It can be, say, a large corporate and say it has uh, different uh, places. We are in Taiwan, all right. Say the center or the headquarters are in Taipei, mm -hmm. and we can set the QVR center here in Taipei at our office. And if we have offices in different cities around Taiwan, we also, have, if we have the QVR Pro, actually we can manage it from one point. And this, you say it was QVR Pro can manage up to 128 of those from the QVR center, and would be very convenient. Also, if you have the already established uh, environment, uh, say uh, from QVR Pro and VO Store and VR. It all, it, it, as uh, we mentioned, is uh, downward compatible, so it can integrate all of those in the QVR uh, center, manage it and use all the services and the features that it provides. Like uh, you have uh, multiple screens, uh, you have the wall with a, 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 a lot of uh, different views that you can have. You, ha you can use the e-mapping tool, mm -hmm. which I find it uh, very useful as you can place the cameras in a, a, a map either by floor of the building, check uh, the location of the camera where it is placed and then once you clay, click over the camera in the e map, it will actually show you the uh, view from where it, what, what is this uh, camera on the map uh, actually recording and also it has uh, a lot of advantages like uh, playing live uh, videos mm -hmm. and also playback which is a really good feature and you make uh, use of the high uh, scalability that the QNAP NAS provides with the storage. It can be very scalable, uh, mm -hmm. having a lot of uh, uh, videos and playback, recording and story back in the NAS. And also has uh, some more advanced features like motion detection that you mm -hmm. can actually make very good use of it. Motion detection in the QVR Pro, and uh, you can manage all of these from the QVR Center and there are many many other features that come uh, with this uh, surveillance system provided by the QNAP NAS and make best the best out of the two worlds that have the high storage capacity and the very well designed user friendly uh, surveillance uh, uh, application in the QNAP NAS with the QTS 441 and the QVR Pro so yeah just just wanted to conclude this part you can build your own and QVR Center is a really good choice to do so and I uh, actually thank uh, our product uh, manager Xavier for being here with us today showing us uh, all this uh, information and the Q for, for the QBR uh, Pro, QBR Center and our surveillance solutions. So if you want to see more on this topic go to QNAP.com by a keyword or live.QNAP.com as we have also other videos in this topic and uh, yeah this is it for today I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye. Bye.